Commitment 2022 brings us the very latest ad attacking Charlie Crist, who is running for governor. It claims that he is not a pro-choice Democrat, but as West Two's Greg Fox explains, it mixes the Crist record to try to mislead voters. Here's Get the Facts. This Florida Supreme Court judge is an anti-choice extremist. This political ad is from Florida Consumers First, a political committee supporting Democratic Agriculture Commissioner Nikki Freed for governor. She's using it to attack her primary rival, Congressman Charlie Crist. It's using former state Supreme Court Chief Justice Charles Kennedy as the ammunition. He's helped Ron DeSantis ban abortions, block an assault weapons ban, and eliminate two black districts. First, let's get the facts on those first claims. It's false that Kennedy has helped ban abortions because abortion in Florida is still legal up to 15 weeks, though that's being challenged in court. Did Kennedy block a proposed constitutional amendment seeking to ban assault weapons? That's a fact. He was in the majority that ruled against the amendment in June of 2020, as reported here by WUSF. And on the claim that Kennedy eliminated black districts, that too is a fact, with the conservative court declining in June to rule the congressional districts drawn by Governor DeSantis unconstitutional. Who appointed this right-wing radical? Not Republican Ron DeSantis. It was Republican Charlie Crist. That claim is fact. Crist was a Republican governor when he appointed candidate to the state Supreme Court in 2008. But despite what you hear in the rest of the ad's collection of jumbled sound bites, even after Roe was overturned, Charlie says he wouldn't change a thing. Nothing. Has no regrets. I don't. And is still pro-life. I'm still pro-life. All three are out of context for not providing full responses. Chris recently told the Orlando Sentinel editorial board among his biggest regrets was appointing Charles Kennedy and Ricky Polston to the Supreme Court. As you can see in this headline, Chris says he's pro-life but supports a woman's right to choose. Further, he states, when I say I'm pro-life, I mean I'm for life and I'm for a woman's right to choose and make her own decisions about her body. Also, Chris on May 20th, before Roe v. Wade was overturned by the U.S. Supreme Court, pledged to sign an executive order if elected governor to protect abortion rights. Since he became a Democrat in 2012, Chris has consistently supported abortion rights. And according to Vote Smart and our previous reporting, even when Chris was a Republican in 2010, he vetoed a measure that would have required pre-abortion ultrasounds in Florida. It is worth noting that Florida Planned Parenthood declined to make an endorsement in the Democratic race for governor. And it's also worth noting that the former CEO for Planned Parenthood in Central Florida has endorsed Crist in this race. You can see all of our Get the Facts, race profiles, and exclusive debates right now by logging on to WESH.com and on the menu, clicking on Commitment 2022. Michelle? Uh